Kernel panics on Mac OS can be pretty frustrating, but there are several troubleshooting steps you can take to diagnose and resolve the issue. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you troubleshoot kernel panics on your Mac. Restarting your Mac. A kernel panic is often a one-time event, so the first step is to restart your computer. Press and hold the power button until your Mac shuts down, then press it again to turn it back on. Check for software updates. Ensure your Mac is running the latest version of Mac OS click on the Apple menu in the top left corner, select, System Preferences, then choose, Software Update. Install any available updates and restart your Mac if necessary. Disconnecting external devices. Sometimes, kernel panics can be caused by faulty or incompatible external devices. Disconnect all peripherals such as printers, scanners, external hard drives, or USB devices, and then restart your Mac. If the kernel panic stops, try connecting the devices one by one to identify the problematic one. Reset NVRAM or PRAM. NVRAM, non-volatile random access memory, or PRAM, parameter RAM, stores various system settings that can affect your Mac's performance. Resetting it can help resolve kernel panics. Shut down your Mac, then press the power button and immediately hold down the option Command PR keys simultaneously. Keep holding the keys until you hear the startup sound for the second time, and then release them. Run Apple Diagnostics or Apple Hardware Test. These built-in diagnostic tools can help identify hardware-related issues. Shut down your Mac, then turn it on while holding the D key. Follow the on-screen instructions to run the diagnostics. Note that the process may vary depending on your Mac model. Check for third-party software conflicts. If the kernel panics persist, it's worth investigating whether any third-party software is causing the issue. Boot your Mac in safe mode by restarting and holding down the Shift key until the Apple logo appears. In safe mode, only essential system software loads. If the kernel panics stops in safe mode, try uninstalling recently installed or suspicious software. Reinstall Mac OS. If none of the above steps resolve the issue, you can reinstall Mac OS. This process reinstalls the operating system while preserving your user data. Remember to back up your important files before proceeding. Restart your Mac, then hold down Command R to enter Mac OS recovery. Select, Reinstall Mac OS, and follow the on-screen instructions. There you have it. If you're still experiencing kernel panics after going through these troubleshooting steps, it may be necessary to contact Apple support or visit an authorized service provider for further assistance. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel.